You know, it's weird how I talk about how much or how little interest I have in the Calvin Kiyomori storyline, but especially after this week's episode, people have been coming up with interesting ideas, and the shock value or the possible moment of the next episode to make Calvin go viral yet again has people wondering what is Maurice going to see when he walks into his bedroom. Now, the question is, is it Calvin and Q? Most likely, but at the same time, you know, these episodes, synopsis, and trailers can be quite, uh, can be quite misleading, but some people have speculated that, you know what, um, Tyler, it, it, he's not going to make Calvin gay. What's probably going to happen is Maurice is definitely going to find Calvin in a very compromising, questionable situation, but the thing is, he is full on drunk and nothing may have actually happened. Maurice will just walk in and, well, to be honest, assume but not be correct. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, Maurice is going to tell Sabrina the next day what happened. And then Sabrina is going to be like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely not. No, 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 no. I'm going to focus on bio. Whether or not she tells Maurice about him being a prince, we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm guessing that Maurice is going to misinterpret the situation, tell Sabrina. Sabrina is going to go all in with bio. And then Calvin, once he gets his senses together, figures out what's going on. Like, wait, what's going on? You know, he tries to talk to or call to Sabrina like he wasn't the one acting like he had an attitude the last time they spoke. And then he's going to be wondering why she's acting so funny towards him. And then as a result, it's like, oh, here we go again. Sabrina allowing somebody else to think for her when in reality, it's like, look, Sabrina, move on. Just let it go. And then, you know, um, Calvin's going to get mad thinking, oh, here we go again. She's thinking I'm gay, yada, 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 because she heard this. But, I mean, you're the one that put yourself in that situation. Yeah, yeah, that situation, Calvin. And like Maurice calls you out, it's like, yeah, for you to be this drunk at a gay bar, you're just asking to, you know, get into a situation. But regardless, um, yeah, we've seen this before. Um... Uh, Sabrina's going to pursue someone else after hearing something that makes her say, you know what, no, I can't do it with Calvin. Honestly, though, she kind of had that thought process after learning about his kinks and fetishes and whatnot. But regardless, what I don't want to see is to have, I guess you could say, Calvin so teetering so far off the ledge of, okay, this dude is really gay versus no, he's just flamboyant. And then all of a sudden, due to a misunderstanding, we're back at it again where, oh, wow, Calvin really isn't like that. Maurice got it wrong. Let's go out on a date again. No, 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 no. After, regardless of what happens in the next episode, I don't ever want to have the will they, won't they with Calvin and Sabrina anymore. I'd rather watch more Andy and Gary than the ridiculousness of trying to justify why there will be a Calvin and Sabrina dynamic going on. I, I just, I think, uh, what was it, the TV line or article said it best, uh, you know, no straight man would put themselves in such a situation, whether it's getting, you know, nearly passed out drunk in a gay bar, or being the situation that Calvin was in with Q at the end of the episode, so... Let me know your thoughts. Do you think Calvin is actually going to be in a situation where he's actually not doing anything? Maurice just tells Sabrina, look, she, he was in my bed with Q and a vibrator and all this stuff. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just over and done with it. Over and out. That's it. So like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of that theory. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. Take care.